I'm Peter Block at the AHA annual meeting here in New Orleans. With me is Mike Murphy. Sounds like a superhero. And in fact, in the way he is, as far as critical limb ischemia is concerned. So, Mike, I'm going to ask you about your trial, which you just reported on. And this is another one of those exciting trials that may, in fact, be important, I was going to say critical, to patients with critical limb ischemia. So tell me about your trial. So this is the uh, first phase three uh, randomized control trial in the United States to reach completion using autologous bone marrow cells to prevent amputation in patients with what we call critical limb ischemia, which is the end stage of peripheral arterial disease. Okay, so tell me exactly what that means. I mean, you take bone marrow concentrate and you put it someplace, how do you do this? So this is a point of care preparation. So we aspirate the bone marrow. It's placed in a closed centrifugation system and it separates out the mononuclear cell fraction, which we then aspirate from the, the tube and we inject it intramuscularly into the uh, ischemic leg, beginning about the level of the knee and, and extending the injections down onto the dorsum of the foot. So there are multiple small injections, sub-Q? Yes, so these are intramuscular and we injected anywhere from 36 to 40 sites on the lateral and medial aspects of the affected leg. Okay, and now in theory, what is this supposed to do? Because it's always a question about what really happens. It is indeed, and that's uh, an area of interest in our laboratory currently. Um, initially, the thought was that bone marrow cells had the unique ability to form blood vessels, vascular genesis. But since we have discovered that there really is mostly a paracrine effect, secretion of angiogenic growth factors that may induce capillary formation from endogenous blood vessels in the patient. Okay, so now that we know that you, how you did this trial and what you think happens, I guess the next question is what actually happened to these patients? What are the outcomes here? Because they're exciting. Sure. So overall, when we look at the entire study group, um, we found that there was a, uh, an improvement in amputation-free survival. However, it didn't reach significance. When we did our analyses on pre-specified randomized stratum, that is diagnosis of diabetes or Rutherford score, we found that there was a statistically significant improvement in amputation-free survival in all of our patients except for the patients who had diabetes and tissue loss. So overall, we found that at 52 weeks, there was an improvement in limb salvage in all of our subgroups except for the diabetic uh, patient with tissue loss. So the diabetic patient with tissue loss is already in trouble. I guess the next question is you have to get these folks earlier if theoretically you're going to use this clinically, correct? That is a great question and one that we're planning for future studies. Do we treat the patient before they have tissue loss, a diabetic patient, as an adjunct maybe to endovascular surgical bypass to prevent the patient from progressing to that point and promote or at least enhance uh, limb salvage for the most needy group? All right, so uh, this is really sort of a breakthrough concept, isn't it? For the first time, bone marrow cells seem to work. Multiple injections, they keep uh, limbs from falling off and needing to be amputated, and survival seems to be better. This may be a breakthrough, what do you think? I do indeed. I think you know, so this is, was a study that we began as a phase one trial 12 years ago. We are able to modify it over the course of time based on our initial findings in the phase one and two studies. And uh, I do believe it is a breakthrough and offers hope for those patients, at least who are, uh, are Rutherford 4 uh, non-diabetics and uh, Rutherford 5 non-diabetics. So Mike, uh, tell me what you think this is going to be in terms of time. When are people actually going to begin using this? Can we do this tomorrow? Unfortunately, it doesn't have FDA approval yet, and I'm working with uh, my industry partner, Zimmer Biomet, uh, through the Food and Drug Administration to try to get this approved for a uh, standard of care for patients who have no other options with critical limb ischemia. So there you have it, folks, for everybody, and vascular surgeons particularly out there who take care of these folks. Uh, the diabetics who are already in trouble get into worse trouble, but the rest of them seem to be better. Thank you, Mike. Thank you.